I ate、uh, well meat from a vending machine. Yes, you can buy well meat from a vending machine in Japan. Sometimes we all crave for well meat, so let's see what it's like. This is Kujira store in Tokyo, literally means well store. There are four of them in Tokyo. I'll put the location in the description so if you have a curious, you can visit. So here they have three vending machines. They are saying eating wells actually helps protect marine ecosystem. Because according to this, wells eat three to six times more fish than humans catch in a year. Six tons of resources are protected every year by catching wells. And apparently, eating well meat helps relieve fatigue and reduce stress. And here they have some nice recipes. As a Japanese, I'm used to deep fried well meat. Let me show you what they have. They have lean meat, they have skin, they have tail meat, and they have some steak deep fried meat and also bacon. And here they have some canned food and curry. If this wasn't for a video, I would get curry. Without any knowledge of well meat, it's kinda difficult to choose what I'm gonna get. They accept credit card or IC card, so you don't need cash. I bought lean meat, but I didn't expect I would get two. And I also wanted something else, so I bought bacon. Oof. Alright, so I defrosted it. In total, I have four of this. One's already big. You can eat it as sashimi, steak, and you can grill it. I don't think I'm brave enough to try it as sashimi, so I'm gonna cook it. I'm gonna grill it. This is good for temporary stress, fatigue. It's not like this is my first time trying well. I've tried it. I think most of the Japanese people have tried it because when we were in elementary school, school lunch, we used to have, we sometimes had deep fried well meat. And that was actually good. Actually, many people like it. I don't know if they still serve it these days. Lots of blood. I'm wearing a white shirt. This is not smart. Oof. Oof, smells so bloody. It really, it really looks like a steak. Okie dokie, so it's edible, it, it can be eaten as sashimi. But after smelling it, I don't think I want it as sashimi. I've tried sashimi of well before, it was a different part that was less, less bloody. Oof. Let's cook it. My kitchen smells bloody now. Itadakimasu. I poured some sake on it, so I thought maybe it's gonna help with the smell. And I put lots of salt and pepper. It tastes like Tastes a little bit like beef, but to me it tastes mostly like liver, liver of something. It's okay, like I can eat it. I'm never gonna be needing to eat it, but I can eat it. But if I didn't put lots of salt and pepper, I think I wouldn't like it as much as I do now. I think it's the best when you marinate it with. Add a condiment maybe for one day, two days, and then deep fry it maybe so, so you don't really taste blood. I think I need a little break. So I decided to eat some of my favorite snacks. Tokyo Treat is a monthly pop Japanese snack subscription box. You will get up to 20 of the latest, exclusive, limited edition, and seasonal flavored Japanese snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. On the other hand, Sakurako is more authentic and traditional. Sakurako is supporting local Japanese snack makers. Each box comes with 20 traditional, authentic, and artisan Japanese snacks, including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware. And every month they have a different theme for the box. So the theme for the July box was Okinawa seaside snacking. 
They had potato chin skull, which you've probably never seen in other parts of Japan. Chilled hiyashi ramen, which is called noodles, perfect for summer. Taro looking kame sen senbei, which is very cute. And special Kit Kat, cookies and cream. Look what I got from Sakurako. This is called Furoshiki. You can wrap your gift, or maybe a bento box. And I really like Kuzukiri. This is a summer delicacy known for its smooth, chewy texture. I don't remember the last time I tried it, so it was nice to try it again. And what I really like about these boxes is that they come with booklets. So you can even learn about Japanese culture and you know what you are eating. It's not like you buy random stuff from a store and you have no idea what you are eating. And they also tell you how to eat some certain snacks. If you wanna try it, make sure you use the coupon code JINJAPAN and the links are in the description. Ah, it was great. It was a nice refreshment. But what do you think about it? What do you think about the vending machine selling well meat? I know many foreign people don't like that Japan eats well meat. But I still wanted to show this even though I knew I would have some hate because I understand both sides and I'm not gonna say much because I don't really know what's going on I don't know who is right, I don't know who to trust I don't know if these people saying whales are smart, whales are gonna go extinct or do I need to trust these people saying they are catching only whales that have too much of them and those whales that eat so many fish so that the environment of the ocean is gonna break so actually it has a positive effect on the ocean but anyway i'm surprised they sell well meat in the vending machine would you dare to try it anyway thank you for watching if you liked it please subscribe and hit the like button and i'll see you in the next one bye